Well, very good. Uh, yep, we'll go ahead and get started. We have, we have uh, roll call. Looks like uh, we have quorum. Uh, everybody agree on that? Yep. Very good. Uh, looks like the uh, second item is to welcome our new board members. Uh, looks like uh, we have Al. And, and Justin, John. Justin's not on, so okay, he's, he's the so other one. It, I would just suggest that we have Al just introduce himself and tell us a little bit about him, and then let's have all the rest of the board just introduce themselves. Perfect. Sounds good, Jeff. Al, why don't you go ahead? Hello, everyone. Um, thanks for the time, and thanks for making me a member of the board. I appreciate it. It's a uh, kind of nerve wracking, but exciting. And I know most of the pros at the golf courses and, and, and I've talked to Tim and uh, others. So I'm not a lifelong uh, Colorado resident. I moved here 12 years ago for work. I worked at the uh, Valley Lab, you may now known as Medtronic. Uh, I retired a year ago and I'm mostly with COVID, just play golf now and enjoy my <laughs> grandchildren. Um, so I was a IT manager. I managed all of IT. Uh, infrastructure, they call it, desktop, PCs, users. And prior to that, I had a career as a journeyman steam fitter where I worked in the shipyards building ships. So I've had two uh, definitive, two different careers, slightly. Yeah. Um, I'm married for over 30 years. I have seven children, hers, mine, and ours. And we have 11 grandchildren who recently moved out. So it's really quiet here right now. <laughs> I just had the inside of the house painted, so. Um, yeah, I enjoy sports. I'm not a Bronco fan. I'm not really a Rockies fan. I'm a Giants and 49ers fan. And, you know, I do hope the best for the Broncos because they're in the AFC. And uh, I do want the Rockies to do better than they have, although they're in the same division as the Giants. So uh, that's pretty much about me. I've, I used to own a motorhome. I travel quite a bit in the western part of the United States. Um, and in the future, with the wife and I, I'd like to see more of the eastern part of the United States. And I haven't seen enough of Colorado, really. I, I have a lot left to do here in Colorado to see and do. So that's about me. Great. Thanks, Al. Al. Yeah, my name's Earl Ingalls. Uh, I'm headed into my third term here uh, with the board. Um, still working, thank goodness. Uh, aside from, aside from the, the, the COVID stuff, working at home. Uh, which is good, playing a lot of golf as well. Uh, Marshall, why don't you go ahead? Uh, Marshall Allen, uh, this is the beginning of my second year on the board. Um, moved here from Oklahoma 13 years ago. I've loved every minute of it. Uh, ready to get back out and play golf as the wind will stop and the snow will stop. That's it for now. I'm Marcia Marcia Elgar. Uh, this is my second year on the board as well. Um, I've been in Colorado since 84 and um, had a long career in finance and retired three years ago and picked golf back up. And I'm Keith's new best friend, I think, at Twin Peaks. I head up the uh, ladies 18 hole league out there and I'm trying to start a new uh, casual league at Ute Creek for ladies 18 holes. So, love golf. Love being outside. Thank you. John? You're on mute there, John. Testing, hello. <laughs> So I'm um, graduated from Naval Academy in 1961. I was in the Navy for 10 years in submarines. And I wondered if Al, if you ever worked on a submarine. <laughs> and um, after I left that, uh, got into uh, healthcare uh, software, have installed uh, major uh, hospital information systems, lab systems, pharmacy systems, radiology systems, et cetera. So I'm <clears throat> well-versed in the healthcare field. Moved here about 12 years ago. Uh, prior to that, my wife and I, the previous 20 years, had moved 20 times. 
So we never had lived in one spot. And so it was very unusual for me to be in one area for any length of time. And the house I'm living in now is the house I've lived in more than any other house in my whole life. So it's quite an experience. We love Longmont, love playing golf. I only started playing when I was 55, but uh, really, really enjoy it. I love meeting the people on the golf course and in the, uh, in the pro shop, et cetera. So uh, I feel very fortunate to be on the board. I really look forward to it and I hope I can provide some help and service to, their, to our community. So thanks an awful lot. Thank you, John. Uh, Jeff, do you, do you want to go through yourself and Tim as well, or? No, let's let Tim go. And I do want to do a couple of introductions of some new staff that are on here tonight, but let's let Tim go first. Very well, good evening. Thank well, you. I, uh, I've been uh, a member of the city council now for three years and um, uh, in, appreciate the fact that I was assigned as liaison to the golf committee. Before, before getting on council, I was trying to figure out how to become a member of the golf committee and I, and I couldn't qualify. So I was able to get on city council. So you ought to know that it, it, it requires more to become a member of the golf committee than it does to become a member of city council in terms of connections and status. Um, I retired in 2014 from a 45 year career in education. I've been an avid golfer for since I was 13. And in these days, when people say, What do you do? I say, Well, I'm a professional golfer with a negative cash flow. So, and, and then I would like to introduce uh, Dan Reese and Ryan Hennings in. This past December, we had a very unusual thing uh, for the last 27 years up to 39 years. We had two golf supervisors that had been with the city that long, and they both decided to retire in December. Uh -huh. So Ryan and Dan are acting golf supervisors. Dan is at U Creek. Ryan is over Twin Peaks and uh, Sunset. So thank you guys for being here tonight. Thank you guys. Welcome, welcome to the team here. Appreciate it. So the other item uh, here on number two is to elect a chair, elect a vice chair. Uh, do we have any nominations for chair? I elect you, Earl. I would second that, Marshall. Okay. Thank you very much, Marsha. Appreciate that. Accepted. Uh, what the vice chair? So we, we do need to have a, a vote. All right. If there aren't any other nominations for the chair. I agree. I move he be elected by unanimous vote. Okay. That needs to be seconded, really, I think. I'll second that. Thank you, folks. Appreciate that. Uh, second item is uh, vice chair. Do we have a nomination? I nominate Marsha. I'll second. Thank you. Favors? All in favors? Aye. Aye. It looks like we have unanimous there, Marsha. Great. Thank you. Next agenda item, number three, approval of the agenda. I hope you all had a chance to look over that. We have uh, motion to approve the agenda. So made. Second? I'll second it. All righty. Then we have approval of the previous month's minutes. Uh, we had that last October. We have a motion to approve the minutes. 
I move that we approve October 26 minutes. I'll second. And a second. Got it. Very good. Approved. Into the next item, communications with our team members at the different golf courses, the monthly reports. Who wants to go first? Keith, you're on screen already, so why don't you go first? All right. Can everybody hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yes, well, uh, we ended up the year in uh, rather impressive fashion. I think Twin Peaks, we got 38,038 rounds for the year, which is in my uh, 15 years at Twin Peaks, the most rounds we've ever played in one year. And that reflected very nicely in the revenue at Twin Peaks. We got to uh, 1.157 million. Um, that's just amazing. So as difficult of a year as it was for everybody, and, and it was difficult, and it was a hard year to, to uh, you know, get through as far as all the different protocols and the different things, and it was a moving target all the time, and it still is. Uh, we managed to just pull it all together and had a great year. Um, I can't say enough about maintenance crew putting, a, putting together a golf course that uh, could withstand that amount of play and how busy we were and all the disinfecting of the carts. And Ryan was in charge. Ryan, who we all just met, was in charge of the disinfecting for the carts and scheduling that uh, and hiring people to do that. And that was a big deal. And uh, like I mentioned back in October, Jeff, uh, Jeff's leadership through this time was amazing for all of us. And None of us knew what to expect or what was coming next. And uh, to have to have a record year, and the, I mean, you can look at the numbers and see how we did and see there at the very bottom right of the uh, the money report, we had a really good year in, in, in golf. So uh, super thankful, super appreciative. And, uh, you know, the customers were a little rough early on on us. And as the mm -hmm. summer wore on, everyone got more patient and more understanding. Oh. And we're just really thankful to be on the golf course. Yeah. And um, and the guys at the front desk didn't have such a hard time with people not wearing masks, and everyone started to wear masks, and it got a lot it got a lot easier. And, and I'm not going to say it felt normal, but it, it definitely got a lot easier as the summer went on for all of us. Mm -hmm. So I think that's all for Twin Peaks. I take any questions if anybody has any. Um, I actually have a question. I think the um, COVID protocol will probably stay in place for a while. It sounds like probably even maybe through summer. Um, what are the plans for the pins and the rakes? That is uh, probably something we're going to be determining. We have a meeting this week and I think uh, in our meeting, it'll be you know the maintenance uh, group and golf staff and pros and Jeff and we will uh, be revisiting what we can and can't do as far as all that stuff goes. And hopefully we, we at some point can get those back out. Are you going to try to be consistent with all the, with the three courses as well then too? Yes. Okay. As of, as of last Wednesday, there have been no change to the guidelines. So it's here to stay for a while, I think. Yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Keith. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Uh, Ryan. All right. Well, for sunset, um, I mean, I can't, I, I kind of have to follow suit with what Keith was saying there with, you know, maintenance side of things and with Jeff being with everything going on in the world and all the different projects and everything that had to be put on hold and issues that would come up because of COVID. I mean, the leadership that we have is unbelievable right now. Um, for sunset, uh, we ended the year at 31,211 rounds. That is definitely the highest rounds I've seen at sunset um, and revenue uh, just breaking over uh, half a million dollars. Um, which was about just under a hundred thousand more than we did in 2019. Um, so I mean, we did <laughs> to see that kind of growth and the amount of people that we've had. Um, I can, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same for all three facilities, but the amount of players that we've seen that 
we don't necessarily know or recognize from the community has, it's, it's just unbelievable. The amount of players, I've never seen a tee sheet at sunset with, uh, without limitations or with these limitations, 100%. And during the summer, June, July, once we got really kicking August, it was, it was hard. I mean, you're, you're trying to squeeze people into a tee sheet if you have an availability to do so. But when we were limited with the carts, um, the cleaning procedures that needed to be done to help disinfect and protect the customers, um, I mean, it was, it was a struggle, but it, we made it work. And I'm excited. I'm hoping this year continues that trend of uh, keeping those golfers here. You know, I hope they're here to stay. Any questions for Sunset? <laughs> nope. Got nope. one, twice, sold. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Pre appreciate your time. Uh, Sam, is Sam on? There you are, Hello, Sam. Hello, y'all hear me? Can you see me okay? You sir. Yes, sir. Hi, everybody. Welcome, to, welcome board members and Al. Uh, welcome to the board, buddy. Look, really looking forward to working with you. Um, I got to know Al pretty well this uh, this last couple of years. It's kind of funny. I want to share a little bit of a funny story with you. But when he started at the golf course, I have a tendency of um, finding nicknames for people. And uh, when I first met Al, I noticed this guy's got these forearms like this. So I started calling him Popeye. And he said, you know, Sam, I used to work on a shipyard, and my nickname was Popeye. So... <laughs> uh, <laughs> His nickname continues on. He's a great guy. Looking forward to working with you, Al. Um, so, yes, uh, it was a great year. But also, one more thing. Right before the meeting today, I um, was checking my emails, and um, I got this email from uh, Golf Advisor. And Ute Creek, I just printed the certificate off, was rated – they do the top 25 courses in the uh, state. Ute Creek was rated number 19. Yay. But listen to this. I went out and checked it all out, and uh, Ryan, you may not have got the email yet, but you're rated number 15. So great job, buddy. Wow, awesome. Yeah. The course is in Long Monitor in the top 25, so that's really some cool news. That is awesome. Yeah, very cool. Well, that's good and bad. It makes me get in the tea time a lot harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just take some of that spinach. You'll uh, get some of that spinach to that pipe, and you'll get right on, buddy. Oh, that's, that's a great job by all of you. I mean, that's... I told you this in person, and I told Jeff this, man. It's just been an amazing year playing golf in Longmont, and the people I meet that come from all over Colorado to play these courses. Thanks, Al. Okay, yeah, as Keith and Ryan mentioned, it, 2020 really was uh, a very unique and very good year for golf. Um, our rounds were 40, almost 42,000 rounds, which I didn't think we'd ever see – a year over 40,000 and to reach 42,000 was really quite remarkable. We had 30,408 in 2019 and our revenues in 2019 were 1,334. 2020 over 1.7 million. So we did over 300, almost $373,000 in revenue more in 2020 than 2019. 2019 was a record year. After 2019, going into 2020, we knew we'd be hard pressed even to ever see those kind of numbers again. And we blew them out of the water. It was really just an amazing year. So all of us, um, all of us golf course operators, we need to do everything we can to um, make golf accessible to all these new players, keep it fun and do everything we can to keep these folks in the game. So I'm looking really forward to 2021. A couple other numbers I just I just really want to mention. Um, we had to really try to cut down on our points of contact. We're talking about sanitizing carts and everything, but we also had to be very careful about people coming in the door. We did online only um, for a while there, which we have got to continue that because we had um, about 25% of our rounds were prepaid, which tremendously helped with our utilization, our revenue per round, we had to do very little discounting this year because the demand was so high. So our per round revenue was um, $41. Our typical year is like $35 per round. So in every single way, it's been a great year. Looking forward to 2021, looking forward to getting things back to normal. 
hosting tournaments again. Um, Marsha, looking very forward to that league coming out. Thank you very much for doing that. That's going to be fun. But um, yeah, and no face mask. Can't wait for no more face mask again. That's all I got. Any questions for you, Creek? Nope. Thanks. Thank you. Nope. That's great, Sam. Thank you. Yep. Jeff, do you have anything that uh, you want to add for this section here? No, I, I just would echo what uh, Brian and Keith and Sam said. Uh, the, they did a great job, all the, the three pros and all their staff, and the maintenance guys, I can't say enough about them either. They were out there every day, never complained, and uh, did a great job. So thank you to all of them. Yep, here, here. Yep. Very good. Thank you. Not aware of any public that needs to be heard. But let's just check. Hey, Steph. Um, unless Danielle had anyone who contacted her that they wanted to enjoy the it wanted to join the meeting, then we don't have anyone. And I don't believe that uh, we had anyone do that. Okay. We right, don't. We you. don't. We don't have anybody. Okay. All right. Very good. Appreciate that. Uh, any old business? It looks like from an agenda perspective, there's no old business. Any items last minute? No. Okay. Can I just ask, um, what did the city council decide on the U Creek maintenance building? What did council? Did it go to there? council after we meet? No, it, it didn't. Um, let's, let's go through the new business and then i'll talk about that under items from staff kind of okay. let you know where we're at sounds great okay from a new business perspective we're looking at a meeting day and time uh the proposed is the fourth monday and i'm guessing we're still looking at a 6 p.m time we have uh motion or any other ideals associated with that need a motion on that yes i'll make the motion marshall i'll second it okay uh meeting location currently obviously under protocols we'll, i imagine we'll still be doing zoom but in other cases uh we have Twin Peaks as our location. Do we have a motion? I'll move that we continue to meet at 12 uh, Twin Peaks. I'll second. Um, Jeff, designation for posting the agendas and the agenda calendar. Uh, look for your yep. gu so guidance here. We, we have new direction from our legal staff and we are asking that the board uh, designate the city website as the official location for people to find our agenda and uh, packet and past agendas. We will still continue to uh, post those at the recreation facilities, but we would only make the motion that the online would be our primary location. So okay. that would even, that would be even in lieu of distribution by way of email to for the committee? Oh, no. no, that that's okay. just for the general public if they want to find out what you all are doing. Okay. Yeah. And they've been posted there before, right? On the city website? Yes, they have, but that's the official one and no okay. other one at this time. Got it. Okay, so uh, based upon that information, do we have a, a motion uh, for posting to the city website for agendas in packets? Move it be approved. I'll second. Second, very good. Into uh, item number nine, items from the staff. So we still had uh, yeah. one item D agenda calendar 
on under new business. Oh, okay. Yep, I apologize. So we included in, in your packet a uh, proposed schedule for the 2021 meetings and just wanted to know if you had any feedback on that or if there were any items that uh, you wanted to have added. We have listed some months where we have no meetings. Um, a, a couple of years ago, the board had um, made the decision to meet every other month. We can meet every month based on your interests, um, but trying to take a combination of that, we proposed not meeting in March, June, September, and then possibly November, December, depending on uh, what we have for business. Just yeah, I, I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that calendar. Uh, anybody else have any other input associated with that? Looks good to me. Motion to accept the calendar. So made. Second. Second. Okay. Motion passed. Items from the staff. Mr. Friesen. Yep. So uh, each, every couple of months, we'll talk about the current status of the bond projects that were passed in 18. We are about ready to go to bid for the irrigation design for Sunset and at Twin Peaks. Um, the, the maintenance building, we had moved forward with uh, the central location. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we ran into uh, an issue with the neighbors where we, we made a, what I will call a significant mistake in what was included in the submittal to the planning department. And uh, our consultant used some language in there that really wasn't, uh, I will say, too polite to them and we needed to do a better job. So we have pulled the submittal for the maintenance building uh, from planning and uh, we with the city manager will start uh, revisiting uh, other options as we move forward in the next month or so. So that, that project's really on hold right now. Anybody have any questions associated with that at all for Jeff? The, no. um, I just had a question. What was going to bid that the irrigation system for both, for, was it for both Sunset and Twin Peaks or just Sunset? Both of them for oh. the design. Okay. Is there any significant impact having to resubmit for the maintenance building? You know, the wording? I thought I listened to the council meeting, they were just gonna have to reword it. Well, we're gonna take a step back and look to see if there, are, we need to be good neighbors and we need to make sure that uh, we're having uh, additional conversations with them, as well as looking at other options for the design build of that, that facility. I'm hoping that by the February meeting, I will have uh, some more to report to you on that in the status. Okay. Any other uh, items or topic that you wanted to talk about, Jeff? Nope. All right, uh, on to agenda item number 10. Any items from the board? I don't know how important this is. Can you hear me, number one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Just as an aside, I have a master's degree in computer science in 1968, and I can't figure out when I'm muted or not. So I just want you to know that. <laughs> Um, also, also, I've got an annual pass, and I've got some friends that have the annual pass that are over, I think, over 70 or 75 or whatever it is. 
we were closed, what, for about a month this last year, or how long much were we closed? I think it was 36 or 37 days. Should we consider adding a, a month to these annual passes or not? What we've decided to do is for the number of days that we were closed, we'll add that to all of the annual passes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. That number is 37. Thank you. Thank you. And, it, and they've already been added. Oh, wow. Thank you. Great. Perfect. Any other items from the board? No? Okay. That looks like our full agenda. Any last minute items at all? If not, uh, we'll motion to adjourn. So moved. A second. Very good, folks. Certainly okay. appreciate your time. Everybody Thank have you. a great evening. We'll see you next time around. Good night, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, take care.